All right, we've got to answer some questions regarding compounds with similar molecular weights and about their boiling point and about their hydrophilicity and phobicity. Uh, so we've got four statements and we've got to assess whether or not they're true or which of the following statements are true. Uh, alcohols have a slightly higher boiling point than ethers. So B, P, let's call it alcohol, higher than B, P, ether, say E, T, H, and ethers are more hydrophilic than alcohols. Okay, are the boiling points of alcohols higher than the boiling points of ethers? Yes, alcohols are capable of hydrogen bonding. That is O, H. It's possible. Whereas in ethers, there are no OHs that can participate in hydrogen bonds. So alcohols typically will have higher boiling points than ethers with similar molecular weights or masses. Are ethers more hydrophilic than alcohol? What is hydrophilic? Hydro means water. And philic means loving. Do alcohols love do ethers love water more than alcohol? The answer is no, for the same reason. Uh, alcohols are capable of hydrogen bonding with water just as well as they are capable of hydro bonding, hydrogen bonding with themselves. Whereas ethers, once again, do not have OHs which can participate uh, in hydrogen bonding. So this is not true. Um, the next statement is three of the four responses, three of these four responses are true. So we've got to look at the remaining responses to ascertain whether that's true or not. Three of four true. Let's call this number two. Let's call this number one. So one was false. Two, we don't know yet. What about three? Three is saying alcohols have much higher boiling points than ethers. Much greater than boiling points of ethers of similar electron, uh, uh, similar molecular weights. But ethers are less hydrophilic than alcohol. Ethers less hydrophilic than alcohol. Well, we do know that the boiling point of alcohols are higher than ethers. Uh, and in fact, if we had to put a number on it or a modifier on it, we would say they are much higher than ethers. For example, diethyl ether has a boiling point. That's not a very good drawing of diethyl ether. Diethyl ether has a boiling point of around 30 degrees C, whereas an alcohol with a similar um, molecular weight uh, has a boiling point that's almost the same as water, that is 100 degrees C. So that's much larger boiling point. Uh, we also previously established that ethers are less hydrophilic than alcohol because they can't participate in hydrogen bonding. Ethers are less hydrophilic. So for now, yeah, two, 
that three seems true. Let's continue. Um, alcohols have much lower boiling points than ethers. Well, we could pretty much stop right there. Anything else they say won't make that true. Uh, but both are equally hydrophilic. This is also not true for the reasons we discussed above. So four is false. All right, final question. Alkanes, or final statement, alkanes, that is molecules which consist only of carbon and hydrogen, for example, have much higher boiling points, much higher boiling points than ethers, but both are equally hydrophilic. This is simply not true. This first statement is not true. Um, the reason for that is that ethers, let's take a look at uh, diethyl ether again. While they may not have OHs, so they don't have this, they do still have oxygens. So while they cannot um, donate hydrogens to a hydrogen bond, ethers can accept hydrogen bonds from, say, water. Alkanes, on the other hand, have no oxygens whatsoever. And so they aren't capable of donating or accepting hydrogen bond. Donating uh, donors like water. So alkanes are definitely not equally hydrophilic uh, with ethers. And coincidentally, their boiling points are actually much lower than ethers for similar reasons. Their polarity in general, uh, ethers are polar, as you may know, So the net polarity would look something like this. Whereas alkanes may be slightly polar, but typically they're very apolar, nonpolar, and therefore they don't bond with themselves very much, even in water. And that means they have very low boiling points because they're not attracted to each other in solution. So in summary, it looked like three was true while the remainder of the statements were false.